welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy, and as you can see, it's no RJ. He's at work. Um, so it is what it is, and I'm having an issue with this contact. So if I keep going like this, it's because I can see really clear that way, and I'm trying to get this one to do what it's supposed to do. So, welcome to the farm. Uh, I've got makeup coffee, and that's what I'm doing. So, get you a cup and join us. Yesterday was National Coffee Day, so drink up. All right, in the chapel, um, stop doubting and believe it's from John 20, 27. Pretty simple. Just stop doubting, believe. Um, I'm struggling my own little way. Money has stopped work on the tiny house, and I really want it done. So um, it's, I've got some things. I've got the shower. Um, I've got uh, the rugs. I've got different stuff. I've done a lot of planning. I know where everything's going to go. We've switched gears to, um, we're not going to have a fireplace, but I'm going to have a wood burning cook stove in the house in the winter. I can cook if I want to, and it can be cabinet space, um, mm. in the summer. So, uh, and then of course the outdoor cook area will always be usable in the summer. I mean, come on. But anyway, so I'm having my own struggle with, I just need to to stop doubting and believe. So John 20, 27, stop doubt and believe. And that's what I choose to do today. So, all right, in the barn stalls, the two <laughs> dogs are very wore out. Um, now that they are doing much better. Now I did um, worry, and, and I know I'm not supposed to, but Wilbur had one setback this week and one day that we had to give him the medicine and he just was a little shaky, wouldn't eat. I don't know if it's just we're pushing him too hard to get well because Carl got well so fast. I don't know. So um, we are taking a step back. But the, the big boys and moose, what moose goes up to, um, they all get along with the pigs and they run in the same little yard and they get to use a lot of their energy. Um, Carl comes in and anytime I'm at the computer working, he is always at my feet. I don't care what the other dogs are doing. He's just always here. So I really think that stems from um, him, uh, me cuddling him and holding him and helping him stop the shaking when he was sick because he really wasn't attached to me until then. <laughs> so anyway, um, it is what it is, but they're getting better. Breeding season has commenced. The Okay, Bidet has not had her baby. So we don't know if she's bred or not. Um, I keep thinking that she's separating herself off, but I think it's wishful thinking. I, I don't really know. She's not really bagged up. Um, she could have her baby on up into October, which was not the plan. That just means he didn't catch her on her first cycle. He caught her on her second um, or third or fourth, to be honest with you. But anyway, because we leave the bull out there through most of the winter. So he's out there for the duration. Um, then... Let's see. Okay. We separated and all the sheep. Breeding season has begun. Not just for the cattle, but we have a meat sheep flock. We have my fiber flock. And then we have RJ Shetland flock. Now there are a couple of exceptions to what we've done. Because Snow is Burl's baby. So she is never bred to Burl, who is our Shetland ram. She always throws a cross, and this year it's Ralphie's. So Ralphie is in with her. And then I kept three of the cuties that um, I'm having bred, and they're Ralphie's, so they're going to be bred to the Shetlands. We'll see what the babies produce, but I really love their fiber, and I keep the adults for the fiber, and then the babies are a paycheck until I find babies that I really like their fiber. So um, we'll see. Uh, I'm just breeding my own little fiber sheep, I guess. Uh, they look like little Cotswolds, so I'm happy. <laughs> I love Cotswolds. Um, okay, let's see. Anything else? Uh, the little bottle baby that RJ says is not a bottle baby. Uh, he's calling him Rat. He's still calling him a little rat. And uh, he is out here on the pasture with Gordy and Rosie Red, the one that, that had the, the cast on her leg for a long time. And one that... Um, that it, I don't know if it's a pinched nerve or what in her back, but she doesn't always get around very good. So, yeah, those four are out here with the Shetland sheep. 
we also moved Will in with Knight. At first, we were leaving Knight by himself, but then I got really ashamed of myself. And they're flawed. They're hard animals. You know, how many times have I given that? Yes, he's Knight. And yes, I can walk out there and he's like a big dog. But he still needs a friend. So we took Will and put him in there. Um, we no longer have Scamp to put in there with him. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, mending fences. The pig shed is done except for a couple of long screws. We still haven't gotten those. I just haven't gotten them on the yard. I'm working. Um, the chicken coop. Okay, so we've been free ranging all summer, and we have discussed this. And this winter, uh, if you remember, a while back, way way back, we tried to free range when we had the turkeys, and in the winter, the ice got on. The old pipe fence and birds would fall off break legs we had turkey that we had to bring in the house because it broke its leg um, just not a good thing so we decided we're going to put the door back on the chicken coop and which we have done and over the next 10 days sorry my eye again uh, over the next 10 days we will gather up the chickens from the few spots that they have and we will put them out there every night and we will wait a little bit in the morning to open the coop so that they get the point that they're supposed to go back there. The other thing is the ducks aren't going back there and we've lost one of our females. Um, I'm going to guess that something got her as she was trying to nest. So um, we do true free range but in the winter I think it's best if we put them up because there's so many of them we feed them corn in the winter so that they generate their own body heat and that's what keeps the coop warm. Um, we let them out once a day to get water and stuff and because it's not really really cold. We actually had one day, one um, year that we put up water in there but it was one of those plastic ones and it just, I think it broke. Yeah, it just broke. It cracked from the cold. So. Um, we don't have electric out there, so it's just, it is what it is. We juggle it a little bit different every year, but for the most part, the plan is the same. So those will be done. Um, the chicken coop door is on, and the chickens will start gathering them and getting them put up every night for, it normally takes a week to 10 days, and by the time it hits a week, we're just frustrated because well, they should know where to go by now. And then by 10 days, we're like, okay, they know. So um, let's see. Uh, what else do we work on? What do we fix? Um, I don't know. I, little things. Um, I know it's kind of like quiet because RJ's not here to, to do the little banter, but um, the porch light had to be fixed. It just needed a new light bulb. Um, just different little things like that around the farm and we've done something each day. Um, we've got to get some new brackets to fix the hay feeder on the south side of the barn. The goats and sheep have jumped up on there and broke it, killed it, whatever you want to say. So, all right, moving on in the yarn farm. Uh, I'm going to hand spin some wool for Elizabeth's channel so that she can do her giveaway at every hundred, um, subscribers she does a giveaway so I have been blessed enough to win that twice and so it's time to give back um, I am I got my playing cards the one time and I got a t-shirt the one time so yeah um, long story but she's a really she just has just a different life but we have a lot of the same interests and that interests me she lives in the city I live in the country she volunteers for the SPCA. I used to be the director of the shelter. Um, she keeps busy with volunteer work. She's married. Roy, I believe, is um, his name. And she just, different trams that she takes. She is in a wheelchair part-time and that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah. I mean, it is what it is, but I don't know why. I just kind of like, you know, and she has a cat named B, and I sent him a grass garden. Yep, I'm hoping that she'll replant it again. I don't know if she'll have to find seed or if I'll have to send her some seed. I don't know. But anyway, so I'm going to spin some wool for that. 
I'm also trying to make a video of the walking mill. Um, and that is me using it now that I've gotten pretty proficient with it, honestly. Uh, I look on YouTube and I see all these really slow people that do it. And that's not exactly how it was used. If it had been that slow to spin with, it would not have stayed in production and been a household item and so coveted um, in the old days. So um, it's just one of those things I'm trying. But my walking wheel is old and it's temperamental. And the truth of the matter is, every time I set the camera up, I'm like, oh, I'll get spinning along and doing really great. And it's like, oh, I got this. Okay, everything's working fine. Tension's right. Perfect. Um, everything's perfectly aligned on the wheel. I set the camera up and I'll go back to it. And I just, I don't know. I can't. Um, something will go wrong. Uh, last night, dry band kept popping off. I turned the camera off. It didn't do it turn the camera on it did so I think the wheel doesn't like the camera or the camera doesn't like the wheel I don't know it, the electrical powers of the the camera interrupt the path of the wheel I I don't know I don't know it's just not in tune <laughs> whatever so I will be getting that we made a couple of little um, video clips we're going to try and go back to doing two video clips a podcast and one animal one a, a week um, I say an animal. It might be a craft that we're doing or whatever. So on Wednesdays, look for those. I mm, see. What else? I think that's it for really for in the yarn farm, dealing with the farm and that kind of stuff. Uh, no. Uh, we are attending Winter Wool Fest again. So if you're going to be in the Wamego, Kansas area, come see us. I so, so hope that you guys can come out and see us and, and they buy some wool. It's the only place that cutie fleeces are available. So, um, all right. I think that's it for that. Uh, in the fields, we, the weather has not cooperated. We still have hay standing in the field, which we're not supposed to have. It's supposed to be done by now. Um, but it is what it is. The garden, I've got gourds out there, but until the stems turn brown, I don't harvest them. So um, it is what it is. And I don't even know how many I've got out there. I know I've seen three, but I'm pretty sure that Vine City is huge again this year. Um, it, I tried to do an update and the wind was blowing. I will try and get out there and do one soon. But the vines only go half up the trellis because then the string broke. So I have to find a better string, whatever, for it to climb up. And that way, um, it'll stay on the trellis because I have this little hump. And all the tall trellis up here is only partially covered because part of it did it and part of it didn't. So, yeah, it is what it is. Um, anything else in the field? I did some herb, moved some herbs around, got them situated the way I want them. Um... The rabbit's got the strawberries. Are they not happy? I can't find a bunch of them, so I think we're going to have to redo that bed. I think I'm going to raise it up. Um, let's see. Anything else? I think that's it for in the fields. I really do. In the farmhouse, um, leaves on nights. And if those of you who follow us very long, um, he's off his meds again, so he just it is what it is. Um, the other morning, just to tell a funny story, this is, it's not funny, okay, but even RJ and I had to laugh about it. So RJ is 20 years old. He gets himself out of bed. He takes care of his own ritual. He does his own day. He works off the farm, keeps track. We have a big calendar just so that I know where he's at and he knows where I'm at. Um, his father will not utilize the calendar. Um, we don't know why, but anyway, the other day he says, you know, I think I'm going to try getting up early. It was Saturday, yesterday. Um, this is Sunday. So yesterday he uh, tells his, or Friday night, I guess he told his dad just in passing, I think I'm trying to get up early and get some rope in before I go to work. And, uh, then he comes through the house later and him and I were talking, I said, you know, it's our only day to sleep in. So 
And by sleep in, guys, I just mean like 8 o'clock. Okay, it's not, we normally are up at 5. So sleeping in can be 7, 8, you know. Um, we don't sleep till noon very often. Uh, I stayed in my pajamas till noon today. <laughs> but I was actually up and on the couch and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah. Um, he uh, had mentioned it to his dad. And for whatever reason, he's off his medication. He doesn't think clearly. I don't know what goes on in that brain of his a lot of times. He started at like five in the morning and called RJ from his bedroom. Okay, we're talking, we have a 1,300 square foot house. We're not huge, okay? Lee was in bed in his bedroom and he called RJ 29 times in his bedroom. We're talking feet away, okay? 29 times starting at five o'clock all the way to like seven. And RJ literally turned it off, turned it off. He knew that it was dead and if it was important to come in. Well, he never came in. So finally he's like, are you going to get up? Are you going to get up? RJ looks at me and says, you are a grown man. If you want to get up, get up. He says, but I'm sleeping in my day. Leave me alone. So his dad goes back to sleep only to start calling him again like an hour later. <laughs> RJ and I, we laugh about it. Okay, and I asked our dad, I said, so, he goes, it's not anymore sleeping in anymore around here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, 29 times in the first section and then started calling him after he told him he was sleeping in. He's a mess, definitely a mess, and it's not funny, but if we don't laugh about it, we will cry, just saying. So, um, yeah, it's, he's supposed to go to the doctor and be evaluated again before they'll renew his prescription. And he won't go. That's, he stops taking it throughout the year, and then when it comes time to renew, he never wants to go on renew. So that's where we're at. Um, it happens. Okay, so I did make a scarf. I gave it to a friend. Um, it was not a keep warm scarf. It was a look pretty scarf. So um, she's been kind of my sounding board through this stuff with Lee, and she really, like, her and I had date on Wednesday night. Her husband works out of town, and so during the week, he's not home in the evening, and I need a sounding board, so that's where I've been going. And so as a thank you, I made her a scarf. But I didn't take any pictures, or I didn't do anything. Yeah. Oh, well. It is what it is. Um... I'm trying to get that fiber spun on the uh, walking wheel, but that hasn't come to pass either. Today I swept my floor, did laundry, that kind of stuff, just cleaning the house. And I'm doing okay with my bowling, so I am. Uh, I've been bowling some anywhere between 160 and 180. I'm not very consistent, and every once in a while, it'll be a 105 or 106. It just varies. Um, but I'm enjoying myself. So that is good. Just saying. Um, what else? I made some more of the lanterns out of the um, wine bottles. And I have all of them that I need for Christmas. Uh, I also have some of those for the tiny house, which is on hold because I have to pay other bills. Um, I was wanting to be in it by the end of this year, but apparently it's going to be um, winter before I get up there or get in there. Like I said, we've changed some directions on some things, and I'm going to see that tiny house built, and I'm going to do it, and I'm going to get it done. But it does take money, so um, I've got to have some dental work done, uh, and I've got to have uh, some bills paid off. And then we'll be moving on. We'll be back at it. So, unless somebody plays the lottery and gets rich, and then you can send us some. Ah! <laughs> that would help. You can fund the tiny house. So, anyway, um, 
other than that, really not a whole lot going on except a regular week. Little things. Oh, the goats are also breeding. I guess I forgot to tell you that too. The goats, I put them in a couple days. The goats are mine, okay, and so is the fiber flock. Ralphie and all the girls in the fiber flock are mine. The meat sheep are half and half, half mine and half, because my merinos are considered meat sheep. So my merinos and his meat sheep breed together, and then the Shetlands are his. Um, for you new followers, I don't know that we've ever discussed that, but he has his very distinct stuff, and I have mine. The milk goats are mine. And they were put in breeding, I think, Friday. It's the day that Arthur was gone. And I just got it and did it. He came home and he was like, okay, well. So um, I actually want my goats and milk. We did not breed them this year because we had an issue with finding a decent closed herd buck. And I found one from Dana over at Biddy Boo. And Katie, it was just one of those God wings because Katie won our sheep. And so pretty much we traded. She got two sheep for her Billy. And well, and uh, Doofus, I call him out there. That one, he has to keep pen because he keeps jumping out. So yeah. um, him and Layton spend a lot of time in the dog pen. But pretty much um, she didn't need them. And she wanted to get rid of them because she needed to bring in new bloodlines and I needed one. It was just one of those God wink things. God wink things. So we went down and saw Katie, brought home goats, and then Katie came here and brought home sheep. So yes, we were happy about that. Um, other than that, I really don't have anything else going on. It's breeding season. Oh, Bear went out on the pasture, so we are watching him really closely because at his old home, he used to jump over fences and get out. Um, I need to call my neighbor too and warn him. We only have one neighbor and he borders both sides of us and he's a steer so he's not going to get upset unless the bear goes to tearing up fences and then we will pin him back up. So it is what it is. Um, anyway, but yeah, he spent his first night out. He has been doing wonderful. We are praying that he feels this is home and he wants to stay. There's nothing um, for him to go through too. So, yeah, I think he's doing great. I did take the car and drive down the road and find him this morning. I just wanted to make sure. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Also, um, Mr. Zebu is out on the pasture, which means little Emma, who is two years old, she's coming three years old, so she might be able to be bread this year. I don't know. I don't know what is a Zebu Highland cross is going to look like. We really want to find a uh, Highland um, bull. But it is what it is. So I've got to get her halter broke and um, yeah. I want to get her halter broke so I can brush her and take her to um, the petting zoos. I think that would be cool for them to see. So alright. Other than that I am just blubbering now. I'm drinking my coffee. Um, you're up to date on everything going on. Do look, start looking for Wednesday's videos. Um, also, we're hoping that um, we're hoping that our channel on YouTube will hit monetization. Um, we're not sure if they will. It's under review right now. They changed the standards way back and said you had to have a thousand subscribers and so many hours we have the hours we have the subscribers now we're just waiting on them to review so that little bit of income that it comes in that it trinkles in is kind of nice because they hold it till it hits a hundred dollars and it works with our AdSense which is on our web page anytime you can click on any of those apps on our web page that helps us um, and that pays for feed a hundred dollars buys about a thousand pounds of feed give or take so by clicking on those ads, I know it sounds silly, but just please, please, please click on them in our, on our web page, and uh, it helps. You know, you don't have to, to do a whole lot, but if you'll click on those ads, that'd be amazing. Um, anyway, so we are going to start posting the videos on Facebook, so if you're a Facebook follower finding us through those, 
Hey. <laughs> um, other than that, I think I'm going to get off of here because now I'm just rambling. Oh, there was a blog post about naming the babies this year. Um, not a whole lot of people are voting. So I told RJ I would post it about noon. Oh, about this time. <laughs> Actually, about two hours ago. Woo, don't fail. So I'm going to get off here, get this done and uploaded, and I will talk to you all later. Have a good one. Bye.